Tell me about ISEX 2013. You? Well, if you remember last year, we were looking forward to the 10th year, and this year um, is the 10th anniversary. So here we are, and what you can see is from little acorns grow big oak trees. Might not be a mighty oak just yet, but we've definitely grown, and we have the largest turnout that we've ever had for an ISEX. So we're very excited. And what's lovely is from the exhibitors' point of view, we have most of the original exhibitors from year one here still. Brilliant. And what do you think um, attracted the, the largest ever showing? you think it's the programme or is it just the networking? What's, what's, what's um, I think we're at a very interesting time still. So like we discussed last year, things are difficult. But one thing that I think we've all learned is that networking is absolutely key to finding out what's going on in the industry, sharing of information. Um, not just on a project in level only, but also on a, sort of a supportive level within the industry. And we have also seen quite a few advances in product. Certainly there have been lots of new releases this year, so I think some of the manufacturers are taking the opportunity to come in. And of course, there is a very strong seminar programme again. There's some different things about that this year. So what's, uh, what's changed in terms of the seminar programme for this year? We've got some new, new speakers and some new topics. We have. Um, OK, well, this is again to do with the change in our industry. What we're seeing is... Um, a lot of our specialist audio people, that's who we're set up for, are coming and being asked to consider doing the video or the visual element of AV. Um, and so for that reason, the first paper this morning was talking about digital video. Now, as you and I have discussed previously, in audio, we're only just getting to grips with digital audio. And so now our members need to be aware also of digital video. So that was the reason for having quite a, an interesting paper there. And certainly we learned about all of the new protocols that are around and the old digital protocols for video and where the audio lives within those protocols. Really a very basic introduction. Um, and what struck me was we have a whole new series of acronyms to learn. <laughs> and they might look similar to the ones in audio, but they don't mean the same thing at all. So we all need to do a bit more learning there. And then the second paper this morning was about electricity, essentially, and the safe use of electricity, and making sure that you're not going to be shocking any members of the public if you rock up with a temporary system, and it's near an existing system. So, um, again, very informative. I'm sure fairly basic for some of our members, but for those who are new in the industry, very valid nevertheless. Okay. Um, and for some of the more experienced members, there's been a bit of a change this year. Um, Terry has stepped down as president. Right? Well, Terry has done his time. He's been an excellent president for the last four years. He's very charismatic, um, always good fun to have around, but has taken the role very, very seriously. He hasn't sort of um, joked his way through being president. He's made quite a few significant, relevant changes. So, yep, Terry's done his time. He's stepping down. And the news is that Tony Smith is taking over as of I believe it's October 2013, oh, so right, later this year. Later. One funny thing that was said when it was announced to the members that, that Tony was taking over was, well, you can't take over, you've got brown hair. So maybe we're seeing the next generation of presidents taking over, the slightly younger people stepping up, which is, is a good thing for the longevity of the Institute. Right. Helen, thanks very much.